Hello and welcome to PCR TV for this session, a focus on the Young Essential Practitioners Programme. It is my pleasure to be joined here today by two key members of the Essentials team, Patrick Calvert from Cambridge and Davide Capadano from Catania. Welcome. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. So this is the fifth edition of the Essentials Programme being run here at Euro PCR. And Patrick, my first question to you. What is the unique format that makes the Essentials Programme so successful? Thank you, Chris, and thank you very much for the warm introduction. Um, Davide and I have been involved with these for five years now, and we're very lucky to work with some fantastic team members in order to build these sessions. What I'd like to say to you that distinguishes them and makes them special is the unique uh, interactive nature of them. Also, they are a series of sessions designed by and delivered by the young and for the young. We don't really have uh, speakers and an audience, rather we have facilitators and we have participants. And uh, over the five years we have managed to evolve this technique to really bring uh, the whole crowd to life and to create a shared learning experience. Wow, it sounds like a great opportunity to learn uh, some important, important skills. So there are eight sessions, I understand, this year for the Essentials Programme at Euro PCR. Tell me, with so much choice, how did you come up with these? Yes, this is a real challenge, Chris, and we try to keep this process as much as democratic as we can. So this means that we really launch a call to all our members of the young community, because this is really something for young, by young. So they give us all the suggestions on the new topic that we should add and the topic that we should preserve actually because they are too important, too essential to be mentioned every year. Then we try to filter a little bit and so we go to the young committee within the EAPCI. They select the topics that looks more promising, innovative, etc. or the essentials ones that have to be kept there. And then of course we go to the board of the Euro PCR, the program committee member, and then we come up with with the eight uh, new sessions every year. Fantastic. Well, you mentioned uh, potentially new and innovative sessions, and I'm really keen to hear about one of those, Patrick. What was new this year at the Essentials Programme? Well, as David has mentioned, uh, you know, we have gr uh, great fun each year coming up with inventive and interesting titles and shifting the learning experience a little bit each time. Um, and really there were eight great sessions and with the support of the PCR board they allowed us to innovate a little bit but I have to say my personal favourite this time uh, was entitled From Smoke to Explosions, a coronary perforation clinic and that was a stupendous uh, session that had tremendous interaction and uh, you know it was almost impossible to end the session there were so many questions at the end so it was a great, it was a great session. Wow, fantastic. So David A. For a young interventionist who may be watching this video at home, how can they get involved in the Essentials program? Well, it's very easy. They just need to be a member of our uh, social network, which is uh, LinkedIn. So look for the Young EIPCI group uh, on the web. And this is the way to make your voice uh, very loud because we are very sensible to all the proposals. This is an open community. So we want everyone to participate and it's very easy to get a connection with the uh, uh, board, the nucleus of the uh, Young group, which is, of course, uh, renovating uh, every two years. So this is a uh, really uh, nice group and uh, we had very nice suggestions over the years. Fantastic. Well, Patrick and Davide, I'd like to thank you very much for this focus, focus session on the Essentials Programme. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.